Hello, Gemini. Ramblin' Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time that I do. And while we're talking about time right here, let me remind you that all my videos are time stamped anymore. You can jump right ahead to the cards anytime that you would like. Cause you know, I'm gonna chit chat here for a little bit before I get on over to the cards. Cause I wanna say thank you uh, to, to my people that have reached out, hitting that like button while you're thinking about it. Thank you for that. And, and thanks to all my Gemini friends that hit that like button every time they see one of my videos. Thank you for that. Uh, big thank you to everybody that's reached out. Hit that old bright red subscription button. I uh, turned it into that beautiful gray. Thank you. Uh, definitely want to say thank you to all my Geminis that reached out and blessed me with donations. Many of you, very kind of you, my friends. I appreciate them all, large or small. Gemini, if you blessed me with a donation, thank you. And of course, a big shout out. Thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. I truly adore each and every one of you. I'm going to take a minute right here and show you some of the uh, tarot decks and oracle decks that we're going to be giving away the second half of February to members of Ramblin' Nation. I got the mermaid tarot right here. Got a little mermaid theme going on this month. Uh, it's got the big beautiful book in there, the beautiful cards. Also an oracle deck by Lucy Cavendish, uh, the oracle of the mermaids. Going to give that away to a member of Ramblin' Nation this month. Oh, we got some other ones right here. The Messages of the of the Mermaids by Karen Kay. Uh, awesome deck right there. See it played with a lot on YouTube. Ah, this deck right here, the Tarot of the Divine. It's absolutely gorgeous. Relatively new. I like it. I'm gonna set it right here just because I like it. <laughs> here we go. We got the Oracle of Gaia or the Gaia Oracle. Let me get the title correct. Uh, I remember Ramblin' Nation's gonna get that. And then we got two tarot decks right here. Let's play some tarot, huh? The Thoth Tarot, the large one. It's amazing. And the standard size Thoth Tarot. All of these are going to members of Ramblin' Nation this month. And uh, we give those away on Wednesday nights. Every Wednesday night, I do live broadcasts with uh, Ramblin' Nation. Play some cards, give away tarot decks, t-shirts. Oh, we give away 40, maybe 50 t-shirts a month anymore. Also, every Saturday night, we do a live broadcast. More tarot decks, more t-shirts. Generally on Saturdays, um, I have Q&A sessions with my friends. I try to answer their questions the best that I can. <laughs> and then every Sunday is Sunday Fun Day over there at Ramblin' Nation. Of course, I share two of those Sundays with the collective, but if it's Sunday night, we're pounding down cards in, in Ramblin' Nation, either over there or over here, or we're doing it, we're doing it. If you've been thinking about becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation, love to have you. That join button should be right beside the subscription button on your device. Of course, if it is not, there's always a link in the description area, they'll take you over to a membership page. And I will see many of you Wednesdays, Saturdays, and many, many Sundays. All right, Gemini, let's do it right here. Thanks for giving me a minute. Appreciate you. Let's take a little look-see at love for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Thank you, love team. I'm gonna tune in. Hey, Terry, love team. Gemini is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Gemini see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Gemini's highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guys. Here we go, Gemini, cutting the deck. Let's see what the tarot has to say today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to freestyle a Celtic cross and throw a whole bunch of cards and just have some fun here today. Hey, tarot, hey, love team. 
What is in the heartbeat of the Celtic cross from my Gemini's thing? Oh, wow, 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 wow. The world card jumped out right there. It's a major arcana, major life force card. It talks about old cycles ending and new cycles coming in here for you. It's about seeing yourself as that golden angelic being right there, seeing the world as your oyster. It's going to have to do with an Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. This can talk about years of stuff being upside down. Turn around here for you. I mean, it's a powerful card to have in the in the heartbeat of your Celtic cross. Let's see what's let's see what's crossing the world card right here for Gemini. Thank you, love team. Justice came out, Gemini. <laughs> Could be dropping the sword on a situation, many of my Gemini friends. Uh, the old cycle's ending. That's that very sharp sword right there. It'll cut those uh, tattered ends off right now, that's for sure. And bring in that balance of the scales right there. Wow. Uh, justice on top of the world card. This is Libra. It may mean something to you, may not. Two major arcana. In the heartbeat of the Celtic cross from my Gemini, justice in the world. Here we go. What's at the base of the spread for Gemini? Oh, there's a lover. It's the Knight of Cups at the base of the at the base of the spread right there. This could be, you know, the new beginning, huh? Maybe you've known uh, this one. This is somebody that makes the heart go boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, 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 right there. You yeah, know, water, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You know, come prancing into Gemini's world. Maybe they came in a, a, a while back. It's at the base of the spread. But you know, it's, it's a possibility of somebody that showed up in Gemini's world. Hi, Gemini, here's my cup. <laughs> oh, the waterfall starts crushing down right there. You know, a new lover showing up in your world uh, could absolutely bring in a new cycle, huh? Could bring in justice in the arena of love. You know, justice wouldn't show up in a love spread. Unless for many of my Geminis, uh, the little love life has had some injustice in it. Got a lover right there. Here we go. All right. All right. I want to see. I'm going to run with this lover right here. Right? I don't know. I don't know right there, huh? That's some feelings right there, man. What's this person thinking and feeling about Gemini with one card? Thank you. <laughs> oh, the hair fan came out. That's about a, a serious committed relationship. Wow. It's Taurus, may mean something to you, may not. It's the, it's the great Pope of the tarot deck. Sitting right there by justice. Ooh, Gemini, this looks like somebody wants to play for real with you. Hmm. Here we go. What's crowning the spread? This could be new, 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 new. The devil is crowning the spread. There's that justice. These are major arcanas. Gemini, you got four major arcanas. And what I mean by that is these come out of the spirit part of the tarot deck. There's only 22 of them in the deck. You got four of them right here with the lover at the base of the spread. You know, the one that could be making your heart go boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Could be bringing some change into your world with the, with the world card right there. And justice because, you know... This is the only sword that cuts the chains that bind. You know, the devil up at the top of the spread is... Uh, it could be that old world that Gemini's letting go of, right? I mean, the devil. Well, it's just toxicity. I don't know what that's about. Could be a relationship that uh, wasn't going the way that you wanted it to go. But the devil card is about releasing yourself from self-imposed bondage. The justice right there. Four major arcanas from my Geminis and a lover at the base of the spread. Who, who is this right here? I'm gonna throw some cards on this individual. You know I am. Cause because this person's got uh commitment on their mind with you, Gemini. But you may have to release yourself from a situation, right? The devil. 
Here we go. What do we got? Near future coming in. Near future for Gemini. Thank you, love team. Here we go. What, what goes right there, love team? Oh, communication. A new beginning. It's my Princess of Pinnacles. It's a communication card for me. In the 3D, it's face-to-face -face meets, um, telephone conversations, FaceTime. Hi, Gemini. I found this I found this golden coin right here. You know the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles? <laughs> it's this lover right here. Yeah, they want to go all the way to Ten of Pentacles with you. Um, maybe we can have a new day that starts. I think this is new, 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 new. Well, it may not be. You may have known this person for a little while. You know, but there's definitely a releasing yourself from some uh, self-imposed bondage right here. Whatever that devil's about. Going to be somebody talking with you. This is a studious energy for me, right? This is somebody that's planning every word that they want to say to their Gemini. It's a lover right here. It's a lover right here because they have a, a, a plan. <laughs> the cat said Gemini. Yeah, yeah, they do. They, they, they're coming in and talking, laying out plans, talking about things with you. Could, you know, it's, it's very, very nice so far. What a beautiful spread. Here we go now. Now, I want to see right here, love team, how Gemini is thinking and feeling about their world, about themselves right now, about this uh, lover. Oh, yet another major arcana coming out. And this is the high priestess. And she's all about, you know, taking it still and one step at a time, right? Being led and guided by the divine. You know, uh, one thing, uh, Gemini, if this resonates with you, with the devil at the base of the spread, uh, don't want to get into any kind of devil relationship anymore. That's for sure. I'm probably going to cut that devil out of your world right here. The old lover right here. And it's about being led and guided by the divine. Again, that's our fifth major arcana for you out of seven cards. Wow. And you know what that means uh, in a tarot spread is that get ready because change is coming. And with all these cards, this is change for the better, Gemini. Whoever this lover is right here. Yeah. <laughs> or whoever this individual is that makes the heart go boom, 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 boom. That's a better way. I, I'm not sure if it's a lover, right? It's definitely somebody that makes the heart go boom, boom. Here we go. Exterior influence on justice and the world card, please. A King of Pentacles came out. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, make, you know, uh, it could be connected with the devil card right there. Just saying, uh, because, well, this is somebody that Gemini could be having a committed relationship with. Right, the King of Pentacles, male or female, can represent uh, somebody that you've had a committed relationship with. Here you go with the Justice, a new world, uh, dropping the sword, releasing yourself from some kind of self-imposed bondage. The only problem I like the King of Pentacles, you know, generally grounded, balanced, stable, loving, generous, kind, um, on a high vibration, on a high note. Um, the only problem with the King of Pentacles many times is they may be way too focused on the coin. You know, he needs a cup in the hand. This person's got a cup in their hand right there. <laughs> Woo! Following your intuition right now. Which way to go? Which way to go? Hmm? It could say right here with the uh, high priestess by this lover that's at the base of the spread that, um, I don't know, maybe you do dream about each other. <laughs> you may have you may have telepathy with each other as well, you know. It's a strong spiritual connection right there with a high priestess sitting beside that, you know, our lover on that pony right there. Yeah. And there's going to be some communication about a new beginning. This princess is definitely different than this king right here. I feel that this king, you know, connected with the justice and connected with the world and connected with the devil right there is possibly a relationship that many of my Geminis may be considering letting go. 
so you can play with this person right here. Anyway, it's just somebody, I, you know, um, that could be just overly focused on the almighty coin. That's what I keep getting right here for Gemini, right? Here we go. Hopes or fears for Gemini. Thank you, love team. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, oh, look what came out. The star came out. Another major arcana. That's six out of 22. <laughs> are on your spread right here. And this is that card about great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams and becoming reality, right? So is our golden angelic being with the two cups. That always talk with me about the true love right there. You know, uh, but this is an old friend from the past right there. Um, it can talk about healing healing coming in here, but it is that star, you know, of great hope and great faith, right? Wow. There's some communication coming in. There's newness coming in for many of my Geminis, but I think many of my Geminis, again, have to cut that devil out of their life. Whatever that's about, right? Whatever that's about, you know what's going on in your world. Overall weather on this thread for Gemini, please. Six of Pentacles, mm -hmm. equal give and take. It's a huge factor in this spread right here, you know, in a relationship. You're not going to get equal give and take from the devil. You're not going to get equal give and take from this individual that's connected with the world card of injustice because this individual's way too focused on the almighty coin, right? Got somebody new coming in here with a new coin. Six pinnacles equal give and take right here, which ain't happening right there. This is nice. Who's this Who's this new person showing up in my Gemini's world right here? Got Gemini thinking about cutting the chains that bind. Queen of Wands on the bottom of the spread. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This could be somebody good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with. Huh, Gemini? <laughs> You know, but she also has that energy about her uh, Gemini, knowing their worth and knowing how amazing that they are. And if they're not showed how amazing that they are, the Queen of Wands will move in a new direction right now. It's so not underneath that. I got movement. Hmm. It's air energy, Gemini. <laughs> It's a lightning pony, you know. It's it's about it's about forward movement and going and telling somebody <laughs> something that you have to say to them that's important. Let me see what's underneath that. Uh, oh, a king! There's a king here. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Isn't that interesting? Look, we got. You know, the king of air and the queen of wands, that's air and fire. And if you ask, go rambling. These two energies work well with each other. You know, we all know that when we build a campfire, right? Air and fire. And here's forward movement, rapid forward movement in the near future, right up there. This is a different king than this king of pinnacles, by the way. It is what it is. I'm reading cards, and I like the star right there, right? It's right here. It's beautiful. Breaks the chains that bind. Two of pinnacles underneath that, trying to keep yourself balanced. Four of cups underneath that. Uh, Reevaluation. Two of swords under that. Should I stay or should I go? Oh, help us all, man. Help us all, Gemini. Lord, help us all. All right, let's play with the Witch's Tarot right here. Throw some confirmation out on a whole bunch of these major arcana right here. First one that I want to know about is the devil. Hey, love team, give me a card right here on the devil that crowns the spread right here. Thank you. <laughs> I, think the, I think the devil's being trumped by the new lover right here, or the potential of a new lover. Showed up twice. Showed up twice. Wow. Okay, okay, there's something new coming in here for Gemini, man. It's got a little got a little star on it too, man. It's really, really nice. Now, it shows me right here that, you know, the lover 
is thinking about a committed relationship with my Gemini. Here we go. Give me something on the hair, fam, please. Thank you. It's the moon. It's the moon card, yet another major arcana. And, you know, that's about being a little nervous about it all, Gemini, right? Because, you know, I, I would say with this that many of my Geminis that are looking at this are already connected with somebody. Pot could very well be in some kind of committed relationship. And the moon card, you know, really says to me that this person, this, this person right here doesn't really know if, uh, if it's going to go anywhere with Gemini, but they're, they're going to, they're going to try right here, man. They're going to, this is communication. It's nice. Uh, majors that I got, let me, I got Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius may mean something to you, may not. What a read right here. Give me some on this king, this king of pentacles. This king of pentacles. That's somebody you have a committed relationship. What's that about for Gemini? Uh, temperance came out on that, which could say that Gemini's put a lot of effort and patience into this situation in hopes that they would be getting six pentacles out of it one day, equal give and take. Try to keep themselves balanced in the midst of it. Try to keep their eyes on the rainbow right here. Let me see what the Princess of Pentacles is about. It's an offer. It's Four of Cups. It's a reevaluation. I'm telling you, should I stay or should I go? They're a little nervous about the approach, but they're going to approach. They are going to approach. Uh, it's going to cause Gemini to think about... Uh, Releasing themselves right here, right? <laughs> That's the best way to say it. Give me some on the high priestess right there. Oh, ten of pentacles, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know. It's right down here by the lover. The quintessential universal dream. There's that coin coming in right there. The cornerstone of it. A reevaluation of it at this particular point in time, you know. And the high priestess and ten pentacles. That's, you know... Gemini uh, thinking this has the potential to go to Ten Pinnacles, which is a quintessential universal dream, right? The little white picket fence and the big pink house. It's a fun story right here. Give me some on the star. The star for Gemini. Thank you, love team. The magician, another major arcana. This is Gemini's card. It's about manifesting all new beginnings, huh? Lines up with everything on the spread right here. You know, because uh, the magician has the, all four aces, right? Uh, the ace of swords, ace of pentacles, ace of cups, ace of wands. It's about manifesting your dream. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Now... I want to look at some of these characters right here before we go anymore. I'm going to look at this lover. And I'm going to look at this king right here. All right. Let's start with the king right there. Tell me a little something about this king of pentacles. Probably somebody that many of my Geminis may have been in some kind of committed relationship with for, for a moment right here, you know. What's this King of Pentacles? What's going on with them? What are they thinking and feeling about Gemini these days? Thank you. What's that? Ah, oh, Seven of Wands. There's a new sheriff in town, huh, Gemini? Because this is about somebody deciding to stand up and do what's best for them, choosing the path they're going to go down. They don't care who likes it or who don't like it, huh? Drawing a line in the sand. It's a new sheriff. They think the Gemini is the new sheriff. <laughs> Here we go. What's this king? Male or female? Thinking about Gemini right now. Thank you, love team. Two of wands. They're thinking the same thing. Should I stay or should I go? Mm. You know, uh, many times with these kind of soulmate contracts that we have with individuals, uh, once those contracts are up, they're up. And many times... 
one person learns those life lessons that we wanted to learn, right? When we came from the 5D to come play on earth for a while, we set up life lessons that we want to learn for ourselves in these journeys. And many times one person learns those life lessons before the other one, right? But after some kind of separation, uh, eventually both sides learn the life lessons that they wanted to learn from these journeys. In a nutshell, that's love. <laughs> life lessons, all that. This King of Pentacles, male or female, what are they thinking and feeling about Gemini right now? Thank you, love team. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, two of swords. Look at this land of indecision. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? You two are mirroring each other. Here we go. More, please. Give me one more on that king right there. What are they thinking and feeling about Gemini? Five swords. Oh, my goodness, man. This is just uh, very challenging, right? That's fighting and arguing and tit for tat. Nobody ever wins an argument. Plenty of arguments going on right here. And Gemini just had enough with it. Seven of Wands right there. Five of Swords is about standing up and doing what's best for you. Five of Swords could say that Gemini already put him in the timeout chair, right? Considering firing them. Here we go. Ah, uh, two of cups, you know, uh, it shows that, uh, I don't know, it's that on again, off again energy, two of wands, two swords, seven of wands, and five swords with the two cups, you know. <sighs> Gemini, we can make this work, and then it doesn't, and Gemini, we can make this work, and it doesn't, Gemini, we can make this work, right? Definitely a strong soulmate connection here when two cups showed up. I can see it, but from the cards that I see right here, I mean, I would have to say, you know what's going on best in your life, and ain't no tarot reader going to tell you anything that you don't already know. But what I see with these cards right here is this cycle with this relationship, it's probably done. Do you know what's best for you? Now, I want to look at the lover right here. Who's this one that's been at the base of the spread? Who's this one that's coming in here and offering this cup to my Gemini? What are they thinking and feeling about my Gemini? Thank you. <laughs> totally different world here, Gemini. Ten cups. The happy ever after, once upon a time, there was our lover, and they met Gemini, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> I told you, hair pants right here. Hair fans right here, Ten of Pentacles is sitting in, you know, and this tells me that, I don't know, Jim and I could be thinking the same thing. Well, they contemplate using the sword to cut the chains that bind. What's a lover thinking and feeling about my Gemini? Thank you, thank you. Another major arcana, the chariot. <laughs> Forward movement towards victory. Uh, this person's pretty spun up about you, Gemini. Pretty spun up. And uh, that's forward movement. Forward movement towards victory. It's a, it's a high card on the tree of life. Yes, it is. What are they thinking and feeling about Gemini? Ooh, King of Pentacles. Mm. I could be wondering what Gemini's going to do about the King of Pentacles, right? Because that could stop the chariot. That could stop the dream of the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Fun, Gemini. Uh, what's the lover? Thinking and feeling about my Gemini. The Hermit. Ooh, another major arcana. We're up to about half of the major arcanas in the spread. It's Virgo. May mean something to you, may not. But this is them going inside. And spending time with Source since they met my Gemini. Oh, man. Healing their heart, healing their mind. Find the star down inside of themselves, right? That star in that jar. That star of great hope, great faith. The potential of their dreams to become reality. Got some stars matching right here. Definitely uh, is interested in this King of Pentacles right here. Shining the lantern on it right there. One more, please. What's the lover thinking and feeling about my Gemini right here? Thank you, love team. Oh, another major arcana. 
<laughs> it's a death card. And it's set right there by the hermit who's shining his lantern on the king of pentacles, male or female, right? And it says here that uh, this chariot cannot go forward for this individual unless, you know, uh, there, there's a death cycle. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation. And if there is an ending with this right here, you know, uh, they feel that it's going to bring major transformation into their life. Wow, man, what a spread right here. What a spread. Let's throw a love card on this for Gemini. Thank you. Give me a love card on this, love team. Thank you for Gemini. Do what's best for you. Oh, the passion. <laughs> There's definitely passion here, man. It's off the chain, man. It's off the chain right here. This looks like the real McCoy. Nice. I mean, three major arcana. What this person's thinking and feeling about my Gemini. Give me a love card. Oh, it says to let go. That's the let go card right there. Woo! One more. One more for Gemini. Thank you. Attraction. Wow. It's a powerful card of law of attraction. You know, two like-minded people right here. Hmm. It's about being in the now, being in the moment, smelling the roses. Let the past be in the past. Don't put too much pressure on the future. Allow this to unfold right here. It's absolutely. Oh, I got codependency with the devil. What's that about? That's that pink devil card right there. This crowns the spread. And this is about releasing yourself from self-imposed bondage. Because this lover wants to offer you a cup of love. What we got under that? Oh, it says very soon. Clearly decide what you want, Gemini, so that it comes to you now. There we go, man. That's what the whole spread is about. Enjoy February. You got somebody fluttering around you right here. <laughs> That's nice, Gemini. Here we go. Give me a major. Ooh, the Empress came out. The great nurturer of the tarot deck, right? She's all about new beginnings and abundance, new beginnings and love. Ooh, you know, that's nice. It's gorgeous, actually. And bottom of the deck is Hangman. <laughs> you know, it's a little bit of Dark Night of the Soul. It's about getting a new perspective about something new. Hmm. There's Source coming in there. That lightning bolt. Gonna knock Hangman right out of that tree right there, Gemini. That's what I see. <laughs> oh, and then there's the devil. Dark night of the soul and the devil. It's about releasing yourself from self-imposed bondage. This lover right here got Gemini thinking, man. Got thinking right here, man. I don't need to put up with this toxic energy. Whatever that's about. I want the sun in my life. Nice stuff, Gemini. Fun spread. Thanks for sharing it with me. I love you, Gemini. Do what's best for you. Enjoy the journey right here. Have fun, right? Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Gemini. Bye for now.